I'm issuing this statement now because I have seen a very worrying trend uh, in our culture, in communities around the world, even within our own church. Uh, a trend toward division, divisiveness, and a kind of divisiveness that gives folks permission, where folks feel like it's acceptable to not just disagree with one another, but to actually despise one another, to, to cut people down who think differently than us. And um, I believe that the Christian message, the, the central tenet of our faith, is love. And love that is, is incredibly risky, that is difficult. And Jesus said it's really easy to love the people who love you and the people with whom you agree and, and the people in your family and your neighbors. It's much, much harder and therefore critically important that we learn to love those who we want to see as enemies, those who we profoundly disagree with, those who hate us. When we can actually respond in love, which is not the same thing as tolerating behaviors, but loving people as children of God, recognizing their human dignity, even as we stand against that which is intolerable in their words and actions. Then, then I believe we are responding to the Christian call to discipleship. Well, I would say, first of all, that if I am naive, which is to, to not understand things, then, then I must not be understanding Jesus because I don't see myself uh, saying something that is different than how I read the Gospels. And I don't think Jesus was naive. Um, I don't think this is going to be easy. I don't think, in fact, I think this is exceptionally difficult. I, it is much harder for me to love Donald Trump or to love anyone who stands for everything I oppose. Um, I find it much harder to love those folks than to hate them. I want to just write them off. And it's Christ who calls me to something different. So I think this is going to be hard because loving Donald Trump is not sort of saying, okay, well then, I guess we just have to tolerate this or accept this. It means that somehow even as I place my life, my body, my reputation, my, all of my resources on the line to resist the kind of hatred and division and injustices that he is fomenting, even as I do that, I have to do that without demonizing him, without, in fact, uh, resorting to the very same tactics that he is using. I have to resist that hatred with love. I, mean, I don't know how else to say that. It's going to be hard because, because there is much that is going to need to be resisted. And as we do that, we have to not turn to violence. We have to not turn to those people are expendable because they're somehow less human. Well, it won't be the first time, I'll just say that. Um, I guess it doesn't, uh, it doesn't change the message. Um, I would hope uh, that that the people who disagree with me, the people who don't like what I've said, will in fact, regardless, be able to practice it and disagree with me in love, uh, not resort to hate speech, but challenge me in love. I would welcome that. Um, but not everyone will. Um, and I guess that's the consequences of uh, standing up for what we believe in. Um, we, we need to not allow the sort of divisiveness and the fear of difference and the desire to create an us group by creating a them group. We need to resist all of those tendencies and practice the discipline of loving our enemies. This is an urgent, urgent requirement if we are going to, in fact, create the kind of society that I believe our faith calls us to create.